Hello, welcome to the information about A-level music. A-level music is for students who have completed GCSE music and achieved grade 6, grade 7, grade 8, grade 9. It's for those students that absolutely love performing, they love composing and love listening to a wide variety of different types of music. Career opportunities available beyond A level um, cover a huge spectrum within the music industry. You can see from the infographic on the side of the screen everything from being a technical crew to a manager to a lawyer to a blogger to a lecturer to a teacher to a composer to a performer. There are many, many different jobs in the industry. With the probably exception of being a bricklayer and a cook, there aren't many other jobs that don't have a connection within the music industry at some point. Can I make money after A-level music? Certainly as a musician out there in performing in the music industry, as a session musician, performing live on stage, as a music teacher, as a private teacher, you could be selling records and music in a shop, you could be a composer, a songwriter, you could be directing an orchestra, or you could be working in the community. Lots of opportunities to make lots and lots of money. Naturally, for many students, when they've finished their A-level music, they'll probably want to go on to university or college. There are currently over 150 different institutions in this country alone that offer, offer a degree in music. And within that, there's many, many hundreds of combinations of different degrees that can be done to connect with music. The A-level music course is designed to allow learners to pursue their own musical interests. Learners develop skills in the three disciplines of performing, composing and appraising whilst having flexibility to specialise in either performing or composing. If you are a natural performer, there is an opportunity with this A-level course to do more performing and less composing. Alternatively, if you really love and enjoy composing, you can do more composing and less performing on this course. If you'd like to do some performing, we require you to perform on your own a minimum of three pieces, about 10 to 12 minutes worth, and it's worth 35% of the qualifications. We hope on your instrument you're a grade five standard or above as a minimum, and we will encourage you to work towards a grade six, grade seven, and grade eight. Within the composing unit, four to six minutes, and it's worth 25% of the qualification. You'll be required to do two compositions, one of which is associated with the Western classical tradition, a classical piece, and the second piece is related to a brief set by the exam board. This is very similar to what GCSE students have done in the past, and you do have a lot of free choice within that to compose. We will be using note flight to create a score, to create a really, really strong MP3 recording of your piece as well. You get In the listening exam, it's a written exam of two hours and 15 minutes. This is worth 40% of the qualification. There are three main areas of study. Area study A, the Western classical tradition. This is focusing on classical music from Europe. Area study E is 20th century classical. Again, this is music from the Western world, focusing on the most recent modern classical music written. Then you do get a choice of rock and pop, music theatre or jazz. 
rock and pop covering music from the 1950s right through to the modern day, music theatre which focuses on the main composers from uh, Rogers, Bernstein, Sondheim, Schoenberg, Weber and Schwartz. And the third option of jazz covers music from Ragtime, Dixieland, Big Band, Bebop and Cool Jazz. Within area of study A, the Western classical tradition, we need to study two separate areas. The symphony from its origins through to 1950. When we have a set work, we need to study in detail. This is Mendelssohn, the Italian symphony. Within area of study E, the 20th century classical, there is a set work, Debussy, a trio for oboe, bassoon and piano, and Poulenc, three nocturnes. We'll be required to analyse these in great detail using a score and listening to the audio. One of the options you have to do is choose either rock and pop, music theatre or jazz. So in the rock and pop unit, you'll be listening to music from the 60s to the modern day, focusing on pop, rock, soul and blues. Everything from the Beatles, Oasis, Blur, Duran Duran, Metallica and Nirvana. If music theatre is your thing, Richard Rodgers, Leonard Bernstein, Stephen Sondheim, Claude Michel Schoenberg, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Stephen Schwartz will be our focus for listening to, analysing, comparing and contrasting the different types of music. Jazz may be your thing. Ragtime, Dixieland, Big Band, Bebop, Cool Jazz. Anything from the 1920s to the modern day. Using the artists of Scott Joplin, Louis Armstrong, Frank Sinatra, Buddy Rich, Miles Davis, Charlie Parker, Gil Evans, John Coltrane. We will be listening to and analysing music of the jazz period. Here we can see a list of questions that may be quite typical in the listening exam. Exploring context, concepts and similarities and differences between the different styles of music and the different areas of study. If there's anything else you want to know about A-level music, please don't hesitate to ask Mr Duff or Mrs Wigsell in the Music Centre or you can drop us an email at music at wallinghamschool.co.uk. Thank you very much for listening.